Hi, welcome back to OD YouTube channel. We are on these stay at home times because of the coronavirus. But today, early on the day, I received this package. I have been cleaning it, I've disinfected it, done all that stuff. The, the carrier did all okay, and I'm quite happy that I received the package after some time without receiving one. And inside this package, I will show you what is inside. That's a later thing. Uh, this package was sent to me by Caveco with pens to review. I have to say this was quite nice from Caveco because they are also with some hard times to get all the orders going, all the stuff going, and for them to ship pens to review that they are not going to sell right now, I think it may not be the best time for anyone, uh, really, because these are really hard times, not just because of health, but because of the economics related to that. So, I really have to thank Caveco. They usually, when they send me packages, they send me bigger ones, but this is what they could do by now. Also, um, it took a little bit more time to send because of the of all the lockdowns in everywhere. So, in Europe, this is getting a little bit uh, difficult. However, here in Portugal, we, I think we are not in the worst situation of all. Now, enough talking about several things. Let's see what is inside. I have here my Victorinox Solo that I really like for these reviews. I need I, I want to buy another one someday, which I think it's called the pruner, which has the blade like this, which is better to open packages, but not right now. Now let's try to find out the seams to open this pen the box properly. Okay, let's see if I can now open it. It is all very well sealed with this nice Caveco tape. Sometimes I wish I had a roll of this Caveco tape. <laughs> I find it quite interesting. Okay, now it's then I just need to cut a little bit more here. Okay, not the cleanest opening, but it worked. Now let's see some Caveco stuff to review soon. First, a card which has some images of the Caveco factory. So let's take the, pack the protecting package out of the way and I'm hitting the camera, sorry, and that, let's take a look at the pens. I have two Caveco Supra because I talked with them and I thought it would be interesting to show the new Caveco Supra still, but that was released in two, 2020. But I don't have, I didn't have until now, the Caveco Brass. The Caveco uh, Supra in brass, so I would th I think it was it would be a good um, thing to have the, both of them to be able to review both and maybe to do one of those versus videos that I've been doing. Not I have not been doing. I've done only once between a Montegrap and uh, an Aurora pen, but I think that I need to start doing more versus videos to make some pens confronting each other. So, I don't know which one is which. This box came a little bit bent there. No problem. I have lots of the boxes. Okay, this is not the one that I want to open first. <laughs> Sorry, this was cheating. But let's see. This box is okay. Here we have the older one. And the older one, it comes with the 
the sticker and the little leaflet that I showed you thousands, not thousands, lots of time. And we have here the Kavec Supra. And yes, it's much bigger than I thought. This is the Kavec Supra uh, brass. It is heavy, not as heavy as I thought, but it is much bigger than I thought. And it has the beautiful, just a beautiful number six nib. I'm, I never saw a number six Kaveco nib, only the number five, and I think this is gorgeous. It comes with a cartridge inside and this dummy cartridge, cartridge which is good for fountain pen cleaning. And it really looks like a, a Lilliput but a bigger one and it has this piece that you can take out and let me just see oh and it looks so nice in this size it looks so small it looks really like a lily put this pen this pen is so i think i will love this a lot and they also sent me some caveco converters, which is a nice thing to try. One thing that I'm checking here is that these, co these converters have threads. I didn't know of any Caveco with threads on the section to put threaded converters. Is this the case? No, I don't know why these threads are. Maybe Maybe for some new design they are working on. But when I was screwing this, I was unscrewing the nib. That comes into this section. Okay. I'm... I'm r <laughs> I don't know if you can tell it by the way that I'm speaking. But believe me, I'm really excited with this. And excited with the opportunity of receiving Kavec converters and... Look. This pen is very, very beautiful. So, here we have the Caveco Supra Brass and accessories. Sorry for the loud noise. And here I have the other tin that is a little bit bent, but I will try to straighten it. Also, these. Oh, nice. I asked for a clip to try and they sent me two. So, nice thing, this look like, this look exactly like the clips from the Lilliput, but just a bigger size, which I think the Supra is, just a Kavec Lilliput bigger size, and, well, the steel one. It's funny they don't come completely screwed in, but I think they may, they may not force it, and then with the with the rambling around in the in the in the mail they they get out of place but I'm seeing that this one has a problem it is oh and the nib is bent that's a shame it is bent on the tip I guess it might have been something on the post that one, the brass one, looks good. As you may see, it's okay. These are things that happen and uh, I think that the, the problem is that the, they send the pens and they are like this when, because they are rattling on the boxes, they get unscrewed a little bit and maybe it hits the top of the cap and it bent the, the nib a little. Okay. Let's, let's not worry too much about this. It was very kind from Kaveco to send me these pens. This pen is beautiful. I think that I like the steel version more than the, the brass version. But these are two pens that I'm definitely going to try to review and maybe to make that comparison and to compare them with the Lilliput because I think it's also a funny thing and 
I think I will try to use my nib straightening skills to straighten this nib and try to see what happens. Okay, let's see. So, this is all for today. Uh, this was a very unstructured video because I talked a little bit about everything with no special order or anything. I was just rambling about the stuff, the stuff I received. And I'm very happy that Kaveco sent me these. These pens look gorgeous with these gorgeous nibs. Also, the... Let me put it here. And that one there. And the caps. And all the accessories. And so thank you all for watching the video. And a very special thanks for Kaveco for during these hard times for everyone for sending me this kind uh, this shipment which is not that inexpensive and I have to thank you so much for doing that because this is really a, re uh, an important range of pens that I was missing uh, in my Kaveco reviews so this is all for today I hope you liked it I will try to do something with that nib. I will talk with Kaveco first to let them know. And then I will try to do something with that. And I think there will be lots of videos to come. So this is all for today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.